Hello from Singapore. I recently moved to this resale four room flat with my wife and converted one room into a man cave with a movie team. Prior to my renovation, I've learned a lot from others who posted their videos on how they converted their rooms into home cinema. And now that I've done up my room, I thought perhaps I can share my experience in my entertainment devices and decor pieces and maybe inspire others in their journeys as well. I'm not a YouTuber or influencer, so I'm not promoting or selling anything here. I'm just sharing my own opinions, personal stories, and hope you find it interesting and useful. So first off, as you can see, this is a 3 meter times 4 meter room. The items I place in this room should not be too big or too many so as not to overwhelm the room and make it too cramped. Now let's start with my entertainment system setup. I have a LG C10 55 inch 4K OLED TV. My wife and I feel that a 65 inch would be too overwhelming for us. For receiver, I'm using the uh, Yamaha Avantage RX. A2A which is powering my 5.2 speaker set from Piega, Switzerland. So I'm using the Piega T Micro 60 for the two column speakers, the T Micro Center in the middle and two Piega T Micro Sub for the two subwoofers. I'm using T Micro 40 for the two surround speakers, which I will show later. I choose this set of speakers because of its small profile and sleek aluminium finish. I opted for two small subwoofers as they should provide more power instead of one large subwoofer. And for my devices, I'm using NVIDIA Shield TV Pro to assess uh, Netflix and Disney Plus though I can also assess them on my LG TV I feel that the picture and sound quality are better if I assess them here Next I have Sony UBP X700 Ultra HD Blu-ray player for my physical media and also to play my huge CD collection which will give you a hint on my age so there you have it this is a simple entertainment setup that fits well in my small room on top of my TV console I have a fake Marshall Stanmore 2 speaker which is actually a tissue box and on the other side I'm displaying my cassette tape collection, mainly Pet Shop Boys and Ha. Though I don't have the player to play these tapes, they are a good conversation piece on how technology has evolved over the decades. Talking about old technology, I still keep some laser discs, but I can play them since I don't have the player. For the rest of my decor, I'm adopting a movie and football team. So first off, I have a Star Wars poster which I hang behind the door. And next to it, I have a Man U, Manchester United autograph poster featuring the fame class of 92 when they play here in Singapore in uh, 20 years ago back in 2001 against Team Singapore. So even the current manager, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, scored twice in the exhibition match. This signed poster was given to me by a very good friend who happened to be a Liverpool fan and had no use for this as he knew I went for the match. So there are over 20 signatures here including David Beckham, Paul Scholes, Roy Keane, Ryan Giggs, Ruth, Ruth Van Nistroy, and Dwight York. I embellish the poster with a training pass. 
the ticket and uh, newspaper headlines so making this one of a kind poster which I'm sure any die-hard Man U fans would love to have so needless to say I'm forever in my friend's debt next I have a clock with a TV test pattern which is something only people like me of a certain vintage will remember seeing it on TV screen On the other side of the TV, I have a Pop Fiction poster, one of the iconic movies of all time, and a quintessential Quentin Tarantino film. And below the window, I'm displaying something which I'm very proud of my movie ticket collection from the 80s and 90s when I was growing up and if you look closely these are actually untorn movie tickets which are much rarer not just in Singapore but around the world as well so how did I accumulate this? basically I bought my cinema ticket and crowded around at the theatre entrance together with other patrons just as the theatre door opened, I would blend in with the crowd and try to hide from the cinema uncle attendants. Obviously, I wouldn't be successful all the time. So if I was caught, I would just surrender my ticket. My success rate was around 10-20%, to 20%, only when the stars are aligned. So, why go through all the trouble? Well, I've always been a hoarder since young. And I thought that since I bought a ticket, shouldn't I be allowed to keep the full ticket as a souvenir? I would write, also write the, down the movie that I watched at the back of the ticket. So my family watched a lot of movies back in the 80s and 90s, mostly Chinese films. And I would volunteer to hold on to all their tickets with me and try my luck with the cinema attendance. And I had the most success at the Empress Cinema at Clementi owned by Ingwa, where I managed to keep all four tickets, as you can see here, with running numbers. And these three here, which means I had to surrender my own ticket. So, my father, who was a teacher, didn't really approve of my hobby as, as he didn't like the idea of behaving like a thief whenever the family had a movie night. But he relented eventually, and uh, my, but my elder sister was more supportive of my crazy hobby. So most of these cinemas were gone, and now which which will this cinema include those in town area and the Clamity area where I grew up. And my favorite is still the uh, Capitol Theater. The one that I watched Terminator 2 back in 1991. I love the neoclassical architecture and I'm glad the cinema is preserved. And I stopped collecting the full tickets when most change switched to the thermal paper ticket, which made all tickets look the same and therefore the unique individual cinema design is lost together with the big handwritten number seat. Furthermore, this thermal ticket fit with time, but this feel that I frame, the printing are still visible. So this frame represents half of my Anton movie ticket collection. And I love to show people my collection as a slice of local cinematic history and as a weird hobby that is not no longer possible now since cinema issue electronic ticket for patrons to scan at the door. Well, okay, I've spoken too long already on this. Let's move on to the couch side. So on the wall facing my speakers, I install this Mutec acoustic fabric wall system to absorb sound and excess reverberation. 
this 5 cm thick wall goes across the entire 4 meter wall only the bottom 1 meter is not covered since my couch is there and other empty spaces are small and not critical and uh, continuing with the movie theme decor for my man cave on the wall I place I piece together this empty film reel of different colors and sizes and I'm rather happy with the way this turned out and the two surround speakers as mentioned they are the Piega Switzerland T micro surround with wall mount brackets to with the to hide the cables and wires behind the fabric wall so moving on to the couch this is a two meter custom made couch which can sit three people on top of the couch I have my Totoro plush toy and suit ball I'm a big fan of Studio Ghibli and I also have superhero cushion and I particularly love the Captain America one which doubles up as a real shield I drape two Manchester United scarf here and also have a clapboard that I bought from Warner Brothers Movie World in Gold Coast, Australia and as a side table, side coffee table, I have this industrial size, industrial style container which I can store things yeah, my CD collection and of course for coasters for my drink, I'm using this to go with my movie theme so what I've shown you are the fun parts of the man cave and now let's swing to the business side of my man cave which is my study table where I work from home due to the pandemic since I live in a small apartment I have to make my man cave a multifunctional one where I can work and play if I meet things I can close the door and not disturb my wife who is work also working from home at another part of the house for my study table I'm also injecting little elements to fit into my movie and football teams wherever possible and I'm using the shell to showcase my movie memorabilia so here I have a Darth Vader telephone and R2-T2 telephone so you can press the buttons here and hear the iconic greeting sound and if a call comes in the Darth, the Darth Vader team will play and the head will swing to one side and you can pick up the handset so the handset is here And for the R2-T2 phone, there will be of course be the familiar beeping sound and the head will move as well. And the handset is here. So for these two, I've removed the batteries and phone cables, so I'm just using them as decoration. So this is a Star Wars 24K Go plated Micro Machine Classic Series featuring X-Wing and Slave 1. And my collection of DVD set and movie books. Last but not least, since this is a man cave, I hang a protected place sign at the door for a bit of cheeky fun and give it an air of exclusivity but in reality my wife and I had movie nights here so this man cave is just in name only
So there you have it. This is my uh, humble home cinema man cave. This is results of a few months of extensive research which I have done on all the various elements that you see here. And suffice to say, I'm very happy and satisfied with the end result. My man cave has given me immense, immense pleasure watching movies, listening to music and just chill uh, at home. So if you're thinking of doing something similar in your house, I hope you're able to learn something from my video and I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching and goodbye.